Hello, it's Yeta, and today I basically thought I would share my university application experience. It has been a long journey and the making of this video started back in September of 2022 when I first submitted my UCAS application. I basically filmed all of my reactions to the offers and rejections that I got from all of the universities that I applied to. So quickly for context, I applied to do psychology at Oxford, UCL, King's, Bath and Southampton. So yeah, once I wrote my personal statement, did all the application bits, any exams that I had to do, um, and submitted it all onto UCAS, then I basically just had to wait. So because I applied to Oxford, I was an early applicant. So my initial application was submitted on UCAS to the school in September. I will put the date because I can't remember. And then it was sent off through to UCAS on this date, because I don't know. And I think it was in October. Um, and then from that point onwards, it was just a waiting game of when universities were going to get back to me. And I ended up having to wait for like my offers for many, many months. So obviously I had submitted it in October, but the UCAS deadline isn't until January. So a lot of people will like hear back from their unis within January, February month, maybe March. I had to wait till literally yesterday where I heard back from the last uni. Um, so it's been a while. It's really tested my patience to get decisions back from universities. But yes, um, I hope that you enjoy watching my reactions. But it's not easy to share this online. My responses to the university's decisions were like my raw emotions. And I think it's important to share those things because it's a very like solitary thing like your application journey and i think that like there's not one way to do it or one way for it to go but yeah it's a vulnerable video to share but i think it makes sense to post it because i've shared so much of my academic journey on youtube and it just feels right to share this as well um and yeah i'm excited for you guys to know where i'm going next year and um yeah I hope you enjoy, I guess. Mm -hmm. I need to sign in for her. <laughs> You're so nervous. Oh. I am. Um... Then sign in. No, I am signing in. I don't even know what it's going to look like. I think I just need to scroll down, maybe. The, you're off okay, Southampton's offered me in the place. <laughs> Okay, beautiful. I think A B, B yeah, A B B, because I do one of the, and, because I d I did uh, Grey Day and EPQ project, and also I got the right, um, subject. So I think it's A B B. Okay. You're secure. So that's my like insurance. Yeah. Okay. 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 You got enough. Now you have like, a like, enough. Last. Last, last option was it not necessarily it's my lowest grades probably my lowest safest option. it's my safest option not necessarily my last well, you, you have like an offer for now you know what you have an offer yeah. <laughs> 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 he feels so happy we start having some good in psychology yeah i really liked it when i went there it's a Russell Group University. Yeah. I can't believe it! Yeah, I did not expect it at all. <laughs> okay, I'm recording. Yeah. No? I knew. I'm, yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. Do I even remember my password? Hopefully it's oh, safe. Please. Oh, my battery's gonna die. <gasps> no, you can't. Oh. Okay. It's loading. Okay. okay. I'm scared. Don't be scared, don't be scared. You know, I've got the, like, butterflies <laughs> in my I stomach. I have the butterflies all the time. 
could be nothing. It could be literally nothing. Exactly. And I also, Kings is my last choice. Why am I updated? Oh no. What does this mean? How do you, how do you check it's been updated? Click on it. Click on this. Oh. No, that goes to home page. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no! <gasps> the reason for this was... What kind of... That's such a bad reason, what? That's such a, like... Hey, I mean, it's your last offer, so it doesn't I'm not that, that vexed, much. but I'm also thinking I'm going to get rejected from UCL, therefore. Do you think? Yeah. But isn't Kings more competitive than UCL? Or no, is it the other way around? It's the other way around. Elitism. <laughs> um, no, how are you feeling? I would never have gone here, so... It's... It was the one uni that I... I applied to, but I was like, I didn't actually, like, yeah. I, I honestly considered so many other unis over this. Mm. So this rejection is actually fine. That's good. But I also, if they rejected me, then, like, Bath. Hey, don't lose hope. At this point, I'm literally going to be forced to leave home. Like, I won't have an option. Um, I can't remember. You've got there... Southampton. Yeah, at least I'm going to a uni. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm actually so nervous. It's because I care whichever one it is a lot. This is my cousin Fionn, by the way, in the background. Hi. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh. Wait, which one is it? <gasps> oh my gosh. Bath covered me a place. Really? <laughs> Are you going there? Yes. <gasps> I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. I, gen I genuinely thought this was going to be a rejection. <laughs> I mean, now you know you've got accepted to the two exam. That's, oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Bath is literally like number two for psychology in the UK. Basically, the offer is three A's because I got an A in my EPQ. Yeah. That's fine. I can do that. <laughs> <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, so realistically it could be nothing, but I'm just filming in case, because I don't, I got, I saw I got an email on my phone, but it wouldn't show me, like, from who the email is from, so I'm just filming just in case it is UCAS, or like, because I'm only waiting on UCL now, I don't think it's going to be them, but just in case I thought I'd film. I just had a feeling tracks updated basically this is either gonna make my decision very easy if i get rejected i know that i'm going to bath and if i get in i'm gonna be elated because i literally what the hell like to get into ucl but then i'm gonna have to decide between bath and ucl and i don't know what i'm gonna do but a part of me really i still want to get into ucl yeah. I'm glad that I'm getting a decision because I feel like it was just dragging out. And I just I feel like it's going to be a rejection. But I'm just. I'm going to have hope. But like, if it's not, then at least I know that I'm like. So, okay. Okay. 
okay. I didn't get into UCL. <sighs> okay, just gonna like voice my feelings. I think a part of me wanted to get rejected so that my decision would be easy and I could just go to Bath, but I think I'm just really upset because, um, it means like I actually have to leave London and I don't really know if I wanted that or not um not getting in to UCL means I have to leave home and I've been really worried about the finance aspect of moving out it's just a bit more stressful um yeah I think being rejected from UCL itself is not like really digging at me because I've been rejected by a lot of things, not just for uni, but just in my life, like I feel like I've gotten very good at dealing with rejection and I'm really glad about that because I think a few years ago this would have crushed me, um, like realistically I got rejected from three universities, you know, like that's a lot to take, but I think like I always wanted to do a masters at UCL, um, not so much an undergrad, so my plans are not like ruined and I'm not absolutely devastated. I think it's more just that, um, like, now I'm actually gonna have to leave, and, like, it's really hard to leave my sisters, because they're a lot younger, and I feel like I, I'm not only their sister, but, like, I feel like they rely on me for a lot of things, and I'm really sad that I can't be there for them anymore for the next three years. Um, it's just gonna be a really big change and I think I haven't really <sighs> it's just like a lot for that to just all be confirmed now is it like <laughs> I actually have to <laughs> go yeah I'm getting quite emotional but I think it's just like processing it all I've just been really stressed about the whole moving to uni thing but I think that like deep down I know that moving out is gonna be better for me. I am excited like it's kind of good knowing that like I'm going to Bath well if I get the grades but like I'm going to Bath and it's nice to just know because the uncertainty was really killing me. Like I've literally spent the last week tossing and turning in bed, not being able to sleep because of just the stress of not only A-levels but not knowing where I'm going and just all of the uni stuff. So I guess knowing, okay, I've got all my decisions now um, is nice. It means that now I can like apply for accommodation and submit my preferences and everything, which is good. And it could have been so much worse. So yeah, I have firmed Bath University, so that was my first choice with the entry requirements of AAA, which got reduced from A-star AA because of my EPQ, which is amazing. Um, and then my insurance is going to be Southampton, which has the entry requirements of ABB, which also got reduced um, because of my EPQ. So my EPQ really came in handy for my university entry requirements um so yeah it's actually the day after i got rejected from ucl and i think it was a lot to take in but i am feeling so at peace now like i am so happy that i found out and got rejected from ucl yesterday because i think if it dragged on any longer it was just causing me unnecessary stress i just feel so much calmer knowing that i know where i'm going and also just like I'm really excited to go to Bath now I think it just allowed me to start imagining myself there and I've realized that the reason why 
I haven't been able to see myself at any uni up till now is just because I haven't allowed myself to even consider the possibility of being there. I think Bath has always been like one of my top, top choices, I have to say. So it was very easy to like get excited and just like imagine myself there and everything like that. So, but yeah, basically it's just less stressful because I know where I'm going and I'm just really excited for the future. Um, so yeah, if you are also in the same position as me, do let me know which uni you're going to and like for what subject, what your offer is. I'd love to know in the comments, but thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye. Mwah. Thank <laughs> you.